Yo, what's up guys? My name is Kevin aka Phoenix Game and welcome back to a brand new Dirty Bomb video. Well, today it's gonna be a bit of a different video regarding Dirty Bomb, but uh, if you have read the title of this video, you probably know what it is about. So today I'm doing my loadout showcase for Dirty Bomb and your first impression might be uh, you, you just have two <laughs> Cobalt. Well, I'm not a big fan of Cobalt since the crafting system came out. I just like, you know, Cobalt has been like one of the rarest things one of the rarest things to craft and like the most useless things to craft so that's why i stuck on with gold cards but nonetheless without wasting any more time let's get started so let's start on you know let, let me just recycle these leads because they're gonna annoy me let's recycle them nice so yeah let's start on with uh silvers okay so I have this BR16 uh, for Kira. I don't. I really don't want to recycle this because this is like the best BR16 loadout you can get for Kira, I believe. But it's in silver. Right now I'm working on getting it on uh, in a gold. But you know I have a special edition Kira and a gold Kira. So I, I think so I would just stick with silver because I play only with uh, silver and above. You know. You know you got some standards up there. <laughs> Once you reach you know a certain level. You have some standards, you don't really want to play with bronze or lower. <laughs> so yeah, it's cheap to craft silver and gold. Uh, well, cobalt is a different thing as I told you. But for this loadout, I, I, what I like about this is the BR-16 and the M9. Backhill combat knife, not the biggest deal, but yeah, pretty decent knife. But the perks what we get with this is Bomb Squad and Explodey Dendron, which is like, you know, really good. Because sometimes with, with Explodey Dendron, the benefit you get is like, you know, sometimes you near miss an enemy with your laser. But this thing, it increases 10% to your, you know, blast radius of your laser. So, you know, it pretty much, you know, confirms if it, you know, goes near your enemy, it confirms the kill. Bomb Squad is like, you know, one of my, one of my favorite perks in this game because you can like detect the deployables and such as mines and all that stuff. But yeah, coming to my favorite Vasily again in silver. Favorite Kira in silver, favorite Vasily in silver. This one is in carbon silver. Again, I think, I believe this is the best Vasily loadout you can get. I have the MOA sniper with the MP400 Beckel combat knife. Again, not a big deal, but coming to perks, you get spares, which is <laughs> what else do you need, man, for a sniper. You don't really want to go around, you know, finding bullets when you have spares. You just have to, like, you know, sit back and shoot your enemies' heads. And Bomb Squad, I have a, you know, <laughs> a feeling for Bomb Squad, so that's pretty much my favorite Merc. You know, I just thought for a second Vasily had no ears, I was like surprised. <laughs> but yeah, Bomb Squad and Focus, uh, not the biggest deal in, you know, when you're sniping. But yeah, coming to fra Fragger, this is my only um, uh, LMG Fragger, but nah, just a normal Fragger. I don't like him very much, so I would just skip him. Stoker, pretty decent Stoker, but it's in silver, I hardly use this. BR-16 Fragger, really good one. This is a really good one, but I hardly use him as well. So yeah, let's just skip this guy as well. And another Timic 47 Stoker, pretty decent, not the best, but yeah, just skip this again. So coming on to my Gen 1 Gold Loadout. These three are my Gen 1 Gold Loadouts, I've kept them till now. This, is be this being the KE-12, my favorite proxy loadout card. Pretty much the only proxy loadout card except the... Rogan Vogue event card what I have that is if you didn't watch my video yeah uh here's what happened all of you have been waiting for yeah so I hope I get the KE21 loadout that's like pretty much the best proxy loadout but let's see what we get I just hope not a shotgun a hogfire would be the best choice for me so roll 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 come on must stop no what? It was right next to the KE-21. What, man? Okay, so we got the Quick Slash Bomb Squad and- Yep, it missed. Just one. I, I, I was just left with one. I was one back from the KE-21. The best, pretty much, the best loadout card for proxy you could get. But yeah, whatever. I, I, yeah, my luck was just so bad that time. But yeah, coming to KE-12 in Gen 1, you have the Hawkfire SMG. That's like the best gun you can get for, you know, proxy. So in proxy, I would, you know, recommend, you know, if you have a hogfire, just use a hogfire loadout, then a shotgun loadout. MP400, another automatic pistol. Silano Stiletto, I hate this knife, but yeah, whatever. The loadout is pretty decent, but the knife, yeah, whatever. Try hard, gain 10 HP for each death. Not the biggest deal. Pineapple Juggler, this is what they removed from in Gen 2. 
pineapple juggler you don't really want to you know with the still not a stiller on top of it this like the most useless combo like you can hit, allow, allow the melee uh, hit the you know grenades if like they throw it to you in air and projectiles and other stuff and double time is like the pretty much the best perk for this loadout which means uh, you can roll reload while sprinting so yeah coming to come on close coming to bushwhacker i have the sm43 in gen 1 which has smg9 and the m9 i think this was pretty much the best loadout for bushwhacker when uh, for his smg9 loadout back in gen 1 quick slash focus and tough again tough is like the best perk over here with smg9 and m9 because it reduces delay of health regen once he takes it it's like 66.6% .6 faster he can regain his health so yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice loadout of here. That's why I've kept it in. Even Sparks. This one, I love this, you know, back when you could snipe with Sparks. Uh, what do we say? Revive Gun, I use this loadout a lot, but now I hardly use Sparks. But I still kept this loadout because it's really good. It's like Empire 9, Colden, really good. Cricket Bat is like pretty much the best melee you can get for Sparks. Quick Draw and Double Time. The combi of Quick Draw and Double Time are like best because Quick Draw, you can draw your weapons faster, that means you can switch your weapons faster and Double Time again, like you can reload your weapon while sprinting. So, Sparks being a really squishy merc, these two perks come really in handy because, you know, you need to escape once you're getting hit and revive your teammates. So yeah, coming to Gen 2 loadouts, uh, loadout cards in gold. Starting with Aura, this one was like my first Gen 2 loadout card in gold. This like, I still kept it, I would never, you know, recycle it unless I get a better Aura, of course. But I hardly use Aura again. I prefer Phoenix or Sawbones as a medic, so... Bishlock and the Selbestad DT something, what the fuck? I can't, I can't pronounce that. Is a pistol, like, pretty decent pistol. But M9 beats this. With Unshakable, uh... Healing Reach is like, you know, the best thing for Aura over here because it increases the radius of the health station she puts down and quick draw again normal. So, Nader, Nader, I have this pretty, pretty sexy loadout for Nader. SMG9 and M9. Yo, if you don't know me, I just love the combination of SMG9 and M9. They're like pretty much overpowerful. So, but the perks, I don't, I don't really care so much about the perks for uh, Nader. I care about is... The primary and the secondary for this loadout card that's why i have it till now but i have only one of each pretty much one of each i don't i don't think i have any duplicates i mean like you know two of oh yeah for thunder i have two gold loadouts yeah i failed my craft like i got both the timix in one day i like i regret it so much i wanted the lmg and the stark but yeah whatever so coming on to stoker this is like uh, my main stoker because after the rank season two started like i've moved from an automatic rifle all like completely shifted to like uh semi-auto or like burst fire so yeah stock ar for a stoker with uh revolver you don't have to spam but you know you can get kills really easy with this revolver if you're accurate i'm not the best i don't have the best accuracy but you know still it works sometimes kukri decent but for this one uh mechanic is like you know the best perk pretty much for uh, s95 for stoker because uh it allows you to repair stuff faster like ev if you have like one of those annoying uh, engineers who do don't want to like you know repair your ev you know you can just put your hand in down and start the repair now coming to kira this is a really good kira loadout after the br16 i like this a lot but it's in gold so i i just use this one so stock ar and the cell best I, I cannot pronounce and once again and again bomb squad being the main perk for this uh kira pretty nice pretty nice and um Fragger, I have the M4A1 for Fragger. It's like not the best loader, but it's pretty decent. Uh, none of the perks are really good, but M4A1 and the Simeon works pretty much. But this is like not the best M4A1 loadout you can get. So I would work on crafting for uh, a Fragger as well. Coming to RT, this is a really good stock AR loadout because stock AR and M9. Secondary with M9, it's it's like really good. If if not a revolver, then M9. Like M9 is pretty much the best secondary weapon you can get. So, deals a lot of damage, also M9 by the way. So, Stark AR, M9 and Backhill, again I prefer this loadout because of the primary and secondary weapons, not really because of, you know, the perks, but yeah. Coming to Skyhammer, my only Skyhammer loadout, this is like, I love this loadout, I love, I just love this loadout. Because of the Timic and the Backhill combat knife, really good, really good loadout. 
perks not the best, but yeah, you, you can get a lot of kills if you have this the T61 or Sky Hammer. So yeah, if you somehow get T61, just don't recycle it. It's pretty decent loadout. You gotta you know use it. So coming to Thunder, okay, the Timic with the big revolver and the back hill combat knife again. I like this Thunder. I didn't, <laughs> you know, I have two Timic lo loadouts for Thunder, but I didn't. I decided not to recycle them because this dude over here has a back hill combat knife. The other one has a still not a stiletto. But the other thing is this dude has a double time and a bomb squad. So this is pretty much OP. If instead of Timic, you know, if he had the LMG, then yo, that's like just no bueno, you know. You just, <laughs> I think you're the best out there. <laughs> But yeah, Thunder, I don't really use him very much because, yeah, it's uh, pretty easy to play. If you're new to the game, I suggest you to play Thunder because you just have a concussion grenade. And like, you know, if you concuss someone, pretty much you get a guarantee kill. Coming to Sawbones, really good loadout again. You have the Crotchny with the Colden and the Cricket Bat. The best part about this is, again, mechanic and get up. Potential pack is like average, I would say. But o overall, I would say this is a pretty decent loadout card. CR73 for Sawbones. <laughs> I think this was the first Sawbones loadout I ever crafted. Yeah, I think so. It's the first Sawbones loadout I've, I've ever crafted. But if you want to see other Sawbones loadouts, uh, if uh, or if you want to see a crafting video from me, you know, you can just comment down in the comment section down below and let me know. Coming to the Phantom. Ah, yes, the Kek-10 and the Deagle. Haha. <laughs> With Bomb Squad. That's why I have this loadout still in my inventory. Because it's pretty much like really good one except you know it does not have a uh, katana but a cricket bat is like i think so second long the second highest radius compared to katana in terms of like what am i speaking like a cricket bat has more range than all other melee weapons after katana other than katana not after katana what the fuck please english bro <laughs> so yeah Coming on to the first page, the most exciting one, as you can see now, I have the Phoenix with the Kek-10 again. Again, Bomb Squad, I prefer Bomb Squad a lot, so yeah, it's my favorite perk. And Mechanic, these two are like pretty much the main things for this loadout, the C-72. And, coming to Thunder, this is another Timic one, uh, pretty average. I would not say average, it's, it's really shit, guys, this one, it's not good, it's not good. So I would just skip that, and... I wish I recorded that video, uh, I was recording at that time, but uh, yeah, I was with my brother and uh, I told him, okay, uh, I have 25k credit, you let me just craft a gold fletcher, I don't have a gold fletcher, so I was like, okay, craft, and there was like 1 in 9 chance to get the A31, which is like the best loadout for fletcher you can ever get, so right now fletcher is in my main engineer class, because after I got this, like, I'm just, wow, <laughs> what the fuck this is like the best uh, loadout for Fletcher you can get A31 so yeah um yeah, that's pretty much it coming to Cobalt I have a really shit RT in Cobalt but yeah it's a Cobalt there's no point of recycling it and a Rhino I never wanted to you know I never bought Rhino but yeah, I made a video on Cobalt Rhino if you have not checked it out I leave an eye icon right up right now go check it out and uh, yeah you'll know I had my first game with this dude the Cobalt Rhino and you would know the reason why I had to unlock Rhino <laughs> you pretty much guessed it by now because I got a Cobalt so yeah coming to Vasily in the special editions this one is the Rogue on Rogue one uh, pretty decent Vasily not the best but I prefer my silver one more proxy this one was the one R13 what I got I almost got the uh, KA21 but yeah whatever so again this one has like bomb squad and quick slash which is like pretty decent in close range, this is really effective. So sometimes, like in uh, maps like uh, Terminal, right? Terminal and Underground, I use this guy, this proxy. But in Chapel, this one does not work at all for me. At least for me, shotguns don't work in Chapel. So, yeah. Amy, the one which everyone got. And, uh, yeah, unbox this as well on that day. I, I called it out that I don't want a Grandeur. But, yeah. Fuck, Splash Damage just wanted to give me a Grandeur that day. So, yeah, I don't use Amy at all. <laughs> But I have this loadout card because uh, you can't recycle it. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty. I'm somehow sick. I don't know why. So coming to the season rank season two loadout cards. First of all, I got this Kira. Really good. Not the best stock AR loadout, but uh, the combination with M9. That's why I use this more than my gold loadout. But actually, the gold loadout for my stock AR is much better than this one. But you know, you want the you want to be like somewhat different in the lobby. <laughs> That's why I use this. 
and a pretty decent phantom loadout card the cr63 with the crotsny and simeon the good thing about this is it has enigma and quick draw that's why i've uh, kept it cr63 for or actually like you know it's my second rank season two and you can't uh you know recycle it <laughs> i have this and i was i think i'm using it right now no uh yeah i was using aura because i had to pretty much complete my missions but my main it goes like this this one and fletcher is this and for my medic it's you know either phoenix or Sorbo. it's pretty much this one so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you enjoyed uh, make sure to leave a like down below and if i get more cobalt or more loadouts or if you want me to like you know craft make a crafting video on these loadouts you can you know comments uh, in the comment section down below and i'll read it of course i read all the comments and i'll give you the feedback as well yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace out